Hi, I'm Jamie, I'm Matthew Murphy's guitar tech with the Wombats and this is his rig. So we've got uh, all his guitars here, we've got Blue Bob which is his main guitar, Paisley Telecaster from 96 I believe, um, it's the one he uses the most, he uses on most tunes, normally in a standard tuning. And then we have a spare, which is a brown telly. We've got a, a Strat that he uses on three or four songs as well. A black and a white Jazzmaster and a Fender Coronado 2. These are all going through Sennheiser wireless systems, which are then combined in a Radio JX24, uh, JX44 sorry, combiner. I've got a remote down here so I can uh, just easily switch them when, I'm, when we're doing guitar changes or what have you. Then, Obviously it goes through a Gig Rig G2 pedal board. Now all this is MIDI automated, so we, I think there's only two or three songs in the set without a click track. So every, every song with a click track, uh, Murph doesn't have, to, he doesn't have to touch his pedal boards apart from to turn a tuner on or off, and that's it really, it's all sort of automated. We'll move on to the amps, and we have amp one and amp two, which are both dual terrors. Amp 3, which is a tiny terror. Amp 1 and Amp 2 both go to 2x12 cabs. Uh, amp 1, the, the sounds on the two channels are, are very similar. Um, I'd say it's a clean sound with a bit of bite and then when he hits his uh, foot switch, changes channels, it's kind of just a louder, a bit, a bit more gravelly version of the first one, but there's not very much difference with Amp 2. Uh, the clean channels, it's all down, so there's no signal passing through it until he hits the switch, and then you get a really sort of a really gainy, driven sound. Amp three uh, goes to a one by ten, and that is a purely unaffected um, signal. So it, it bypass, bypasses all the pedals straight to the back of the amp, and it just gives Pete at front of house or monitors. It gives them something to get some clarity if the other two are absolutely raging. Now, I've personally always loved orange amps because there's not, there's not 20 knobs on them. There's not, you're not, you, you haven't got bass, middle and, you know, treble control for tone. It's very, very simple. I mean, it, you've got six knobs, three for each channel, and you get everything you need out of them. You don't need any more. It's per it's, they are perfect for what you do. Crazy, like. If we go to America so, or a fly gig, they're, they're lugged about in a backpack and can literally hand carried on a plane. So they can, they can take a knocking about. There's, there's not really any signal you can put through and it, it doesn't sing, it doesn't sound as it should. They're not venue specific. You, so for instance, we played Birmingham Academy last night and then we're doing Wembley Arena tonight. The, you don't struggle with, with volume or with, with control for the amp. I mean, they've, they've got more than enough punch for Wembley Arena. I jump from thought to thought. You, you get that classic British sound, don't you? That cla classic British rock sound from all, all valve analog amps. They, it's, it's the simplicity that makes them. It's, that's what makes the tone, I think, so, so good. There's very little very little um, taken away from it by adding more, do you know what I mean? There's, there's not that much there, but what is there is perfect for a very classic British rock sound. It won't get better than this. 